Good evening, folks. I'm Horace Greeley, reporting on the disaster that has befallen our army. Let's try to talk to some very tired, hungry, and wet troops while the army slowly retreats. Excuse me, men. May I ask a few questions? Whatever you want. What happened at Fredericksburg? Bobby Lee whipped us again, that's what. We're part of General Hooker's command. Our regiment was slaughtered in front of a stone wall at a place called Mary's Heights. That's across the Ramahawk River near Fredericksburg. Yeah, and now we have to march in this infernal mud. At least we're still alive. It sounds like it was terrible. Our captain said the Union Army lost more than 12,000 soldiers. I hardly saw their rebs from where I was, so I have no idea how many they lost, though it can't be many. All I know is a chicken couldn't have crossed the field where we attacked. There was too much musket and artillery fire for anyone to even come close to that wall where the Johnnies were hiding. The attack was suicidal. Why do you suppose the attack was made in the first place? I think that Puppy Burnside is in above his head. We had to wait for pontoon boats to cross the river. When we were finally across, it was too late. The rebels were already waiting for us. A regimental and company officers knew the attack was folly, but as usual, the generals wouldn't listen. What is it like fighting the Confederates? That rebel yell is horrible. They look sorry. Most of them are dressed in kind of a brown homespun. We call them butternuts, but looks are deceiving. They fight like the devil. That may be true, but if we had their officers, we could whip anybody. I traded some coffee for some tobacco to a grayback last month down by the river. He wasn't such a bad sort. They're about the same as us. I saw a Confederate soldier go over the wall to give some water to a wounded soldier at Fredericksburg. If all the common soldiers could talk the matter over, we could probably end this war in about an hour. Other than your recent defeat, what has war been like? It's nothing like I thought it would be. I enlisted last year in New York, right after Bull Run. I remember all of our friends and relatives watching us proudly march off to certain victory. We believed we could crush the rebels and the war would be over quickly. I'll tell you, I'd like to get my hands on those politicians yelling, on to Richmond, those rascals. At first, I liked being in the army, but I've seen too many of our boys die of disease and blown apart by canister fire from cannons. I sure would like to go home. What's the hardest about being a soldier? Well, right now, it's this cursed mud. The food. We usually get enough to eat, but it's pretty much the same. Hardtack, a kind of hard cracker, salt pork, or beef, and coffee. Coffee is our favorite, especially with lots of sugar. I can never get clean. Everyone has lice. We call them graybacks. I miss my folks, too. It's been months since I've seen them. I hate all the darn marching. It seems like all we do is just march back and forth, never really getting anywhere. We're always trying to get some sleep or get something good to eat. It's pretty monotonous. We get $13 a month. That's not much, especially when I send some home to my wife. The danger slaughter usually gets the rest. Do you think this war can be won? I once did. I'm not so sure now. All I know is that the siege have a lot less than us, but it seems to hold their own. I think old Abe is doing the right thing. If we could only get some good generals, I think we'll be all right. I'm sure we would like to see our old general, General McClellan, back. He'd fix things. Mister, we may seem kind of down, but no one in ten would quit. I reckon we'll stay around to see this through. If we don't, there'll be the devil to pay. Well, folks, it may seem kind of bleak, but our brave soldiers seem to be determined to win this war. This is Horace Greeley, near Fredericksburg, Virginia, in 1862. Now back to you in the studio.